what it is beautiful people it is your boy the bad wolf all right so we're gonna get this video started try to adjust the light a little bit here might be my next purchase some better lighting uh but anyway you guys get the idea just a madman in a box sometimes dressed in black not trying to be all at that or just like that well you know i'm a little mad all right so that being said i'm still glad you came to enjoy this entertainment educational information only are you not entertained show all right so thank you for checking in thank you for the support thank you for all that you guys know what i'm talking about you guys heard me say it about 777 times all right so i think that's about how many videos i got right now so without further ado you guys know the spiel hit the bell like subscribe blah 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 if you see haters and trolls you know the thing you know that all right so the power of your words Okay, I'm getting some messages here. Hold on one second. Um, the power of your words. What a lot of people don't understand, and, and of course, we're going to get into Black Law's dictionary. Um, what they don't tell you, if you don't know this, is that the power of your words, everything is energy. Everything. So, when you speak, as a child, they teach you to spell well to spell something is to do what to cast a spell you have power in your words because the words that you're saying have power because as they leave your mouth when they formulate in your brain they are creating an energy signature that energy signature goes out and manipulates on a level it actually has been proven that speaking to water when it's then frozen either positive or negative actually has an effect on how the water freezes when you freeze it it has beautiful crystalline structures when you wish positive things on it and we say negative things it freezes with jagged and erratic patterns interesting so this has proven this is science fact okay also these are always just my experiences do whatever you want to do i'm not saying that you need to do all of my things nor anybody else is out there you find what you need to do what works for you and you do it okay as always vet your information i don't even care if it's mine whoever else's Although I usually vet my information way before I put it on on, on uh, YouTube, just saying. Um, but still yet, do your own research. So when you're using these words, you have power over them. If you are able to name something, if it's yours or you, which is a vessel, your body's a vessel for the incorporeal energy being inside of you, known as a soul, you then have jurisdiction over it. You are the creator. You can name it and thereby give it a definition. So that's what they're doing to us when they take our name that our parents give us and they transmute it into an all capitalized name, which is what they owe, own, and then basically let us lease it, okay? This is one reason why people have hangups is because you are operating in the courts, you're operating whatever else, <laughs> operating in the courts, we'll get to that word in, in the minute, in, remember that, okay? And when you do that, you are put into a, trusty public official uh state employee federal employee position okay so what i'm trying to get to is, is when you guys are listening to music as you so think then you speak and then it manifests if you receive and then it goes into your mind so shall it become your reality so if you're always saying that you will win the lottery you'll probably start winning the lottery when you start saying, oh, I only live this or I only do this, those are your realities. You're making the very things happen. This is why they don't want you to understand that you have the ability to shape your reality. It's also called the secret, okay? Um, all these things, you know, that you, a lot of these things you think are impossible, they're only impossible because you are not trying to manifest them with your words, Give yourself some time on. Give the universe some time. In six months, I'm going to be a millionaire. And in, in a year, I'm going to be a multi-millionaire. I'm going to, every day, things become better for me. So if you're listening to this music on the radio, well, it's talking about pills and just, you know, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead, I'm, you know, this and that, then you're going to start to have negative things. It's going to impact your health and your mind and your outlook. So... I challenge you to go 24 hours without saying one negative thing or without lying, even if it's a little bit. Just be honest, 
All right. Not to the point where you have to really hurt someone's feelings, but, uh, you know, just kind of say, ah, maybe I would have gone a different way or, you know, eh. if it works for you, that's great. Or if you don't have anything to say, eh, that's cool. Or what do you think about it? Eh, that's cool. All right. That being said, without further ado, let's jump into Black Walls Dictionary for me and you. All right. So when I was mentioning the, and we'll get at, well, well okay. One of the new words that I liked uh, in our live last night, which went fabulous, we had 5,000 people viewing it within the last couple of hours, and 513 people actually in the, in, in the group and participating. So it was fire. So thank you guys for watching the live and being a part of that. One of the people in there mentioned he likes the, he, he formed a company called Once, okay, which stands for Own Nothing, Control Everything. It's pretty fire because that's what the wealthy people do all right everything is in trust because when you do trusts you're creating a new entity a not a lifeless entity that you control that can then own things and the trust is considered private so i wonder educational thoughts only hmm thinking man i wonder if i were to put my house in a trust and my property Let me just ponder that for a moment. The world as we as we know it, putting things in a trust. Mm, interesting. If a trust is private, and the Constitution says we're able to have private property, that's hmm. I wonder after. I wonder. You know what? Later on, I'm gonna look up what things are taxable and which what things aren't taxable. what things need to be probated and what things wouldn't need to be probated. Just a thought. All right. So anyway, let's get back to it. All right. So one of the things, this is also going to be about some definitions. So should be titled The Power of Your Words, Black Laws Dictionary, because we're kind of combining some things. So in here, the word demur, okay, D-E-M-U-R. To file a demur, see demurrer, to object to the legal sufficiency of a claim alleged in a pleading without admitting or denying the truth of the facts stated. To object to a legal sufficiency of a claim alleged in a pleading while admitting the truth of the facts stated. Almost makes you want to look up how to file or submit a demur. All right, so uh, let's see what else we have in. Uh... Demur, next page. In most jurisdictions, such as a pleading is now termed a motion. This is a motion to dismiss. saying all right next goodie in the old uncle merv's sack of goodies all right so i hear people throwing around the word without prejudice well what about with prejudice all right so dismissal Without prejudice, 1831, Black Laws Dictionary, number 11, expanded edition. A dismissal that does not bar the plaintiff, the plaintiff is the complainer, the one who's going against you usually, from refiling the lawsuit within the limitation period. Dismissal with prejudice. 1898, a dismissal usually after the education being judged on the merits bearing the plaintiff, the complainer, from prosecuting any later lawsuit. 
on the same claim. So without prejudice means they can't come back and judge you. With prejudice means, okay, we'll dismiss it, but they can come back to you later on. Dismissed. Okay, so that was dismissal. Now we're going to go into dismissed. Dismissed without prejudice. 18C. Of a case removed from the court's docket. Remember, DLC, DOC. Everything's a DOC. DLC stands for Declaration of Conformity. The dock is where the ship comes in and docks so that it can drop off its good at the harbor, but you have to walk down the dock. Doctor. Okay. In such a way that the plaintiff may refile the same suit on the same claim. Dismissed with prejudice. Removed from the court's docket in such a way that the plaintiff is foreclosed from filing a suit again on the same claim or claims. Okay, I think we talked about that one already. Okay, now we're going to get to the word in. How many people have you guys heard an officer say, are you, well, you're driving in the, in the state of Florida, the state of Maine, the state of Illinois, right? You didn't think nothing of it. Well, we know what the word drive means. Even though in Black Laws, the newest dictionary, they've, somewhat modified to say driver now means they don't they haven't defined the word drive but driver okay the root word is drive so you can challenge that so if your state if you go to your state's legislation website and they don't have the word drive defined and they have the word driver got to have the word drive defined to its legal extent of the law which we know is for profit and for commerce then you can challenge it because they have to have every word defined legally. So when they get, when you get a summons or whatever else, you are to appear. Who's you? Well, they're talking about me. Do they have a definition of the word you? Why not? Why don't they have your name there then? Because it's not made, it hasn't been made fact. Allegations. They don't have the word you defined on your court, your uh, state's legislation website. And guess what? They all use Black Laws Dictionary. So maybe we'll take a look and see if the word you is defined in here. Because if it's not, you can challenge it. We're going to go to the word in, though. Are you ready? Y'all ready for this? Okay, sorry. All right, in. The word in is defined by Black Law's Dictionary, latest edition, number 11, expanded, means under. So if someone asks you, are you driving in the state of Maine? You're saying, are you under the state? Okay? And we know the state of Maine is a for-profit corporation. If you're for-profit, how can you be for the people? Okay? So, to be in court, you are to appear and be in court, in the court. So, under the court's jurisdiction. Nope, I'm at court. I'm at law. To at is to stand over, to be at something or to be before it, but not in it. I told you the word in is very powerful. So is the word of. State of Florida. Okay? We know state of Florida is a corporation, but the, listen to it. State is an act of something. Of Florida, 
like a certificate of title. Well, we know that that means this isn't the real title. The real title would be either just called the title or the MCO title. So what is the certificate of title? It's the next best thing, but it ain't the original. Booyah! So guess what? State of Arizona isn't the Florida state. Those are different things. Everything you want in the in the Republic of Arizona, just less. <laughs> it's the Diet Coke <laughs> of states. <laughs> Not necessarily in that particular state, but you get what I'm saying. So there's the Republic side of Arizona, which is the people, the ground, the geographical area that we own. They have a overlay of it with their numbers and their geographical lines and their their uh, coordinates for locations. That's theirs. But what is it on the common law level? So I digress. Back to the word in. To be under or based on the law of. Once again, there's that word of something. Certificate of title. Meaning you see the word of or in. It means it ain't the real thing. It ain't de jour. Y'all learning some things, huh? All right, so the name John Doe appears in Black Law's Dictionary. What does it say? A fictitious, meaning fake, name used in legal proceeding to designate a person whose identity is unknown. You want your identity to be unknown? You sign it John Doe. To protect a person's known identity. Legally. Signing somebody else's name would be fictitious and fraud on your behalf. But apparently signing John Doe is a legal way to protect your identity. Or to indicate that a true defendant... I, let me say it again. Or to indicate that a true defendant does not exist. <laughs> really? All right. Don't believe me? Go get you a brand new Black Laws Dictionary. That's why I'm bringing it to you guys. You guys support me. I do the work. You guys get the reward. Let's go. All right, so what else does it say? Sheriffs in the time growing remiss in their duty allowed of any persons or pledges sometimes returning the names of fictitious, fictitious persons. You know persons are corporations, so fake corporations as pledges, at others neglecting to require or return any at all, and the legislature to supply the want of real persons as pledges, and recompense, re, recom, recompense excuse me, the defendant where he has been unjustly sued, has by various statutes either given him the cost he has incurred in making his defense or else deprived the plaintiff of recovering those costs he is entitled to by law in cases of obtaining a verdict all right and then it goes on goes on goes on the fictitious names john doe and richard roe roe regularly appeared in actions of Ejectment at common law, Doe was the nominal plaintiff who by fiction was said to have entered land under a valid lease. Roe was said to have ejected Doe and the lawsuit took the title Doe vs. Roe. These fictional allegations disappeared upon the enactment of common law 
Common Law Procedure Act of 1852. Okay. It's a lot of information there. So, now as I said, let's see if we can find the word you. You! All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we got on you Appreciate you guys coming to visit your neighbor, Mr. Wolf here. What else we got? Uh, we covered that. So it's old business. It's old, old business. We need new business. What the business is. All right. So, Black Laws Dictionary number 11 has no definition of the word you. Okay. Does your state have a definition of the word you on their legislation website, free and available to all people who are members, residents, or public entities or private for viewing purposes? I bet you they don't. Let's go on to Black Law's first edition, 1891. See if the word you is defined in here. Ah, oh, might have already had it tagged. All right. Let's see here. Oh, this was the, uh, I had this one double tagged for uh, without prejudice. All right, so let me just recap. See what they said originally about this. Now, I like to go with the new version. Because if you ever go to court, they can say, well, that's the old version. We, we rocked a new one. So I always get the first one. I would, if you're going to get four, if you have the money, I would get the first one, the fourth one, the sixth one, and the eleventh. But if you only can afford one, get the eleventh. Then the second one will be the first and whatever you, you want to do in there. All right. So without prejudice, where an offer... Where an offer or admission is made without prejudice or a... A motion is denied without prejudice. It meant as a declaration that no rights, no rights or privileges of the party concerned are to be considered as thereby waived or lost, except in so far as may be expressly conceded or decided. So without prejudice, I'm not waiving my rights. Okay. Well, and here we got uh, without recourse. This phrase used in making a qualified endorsement of a negotiable instrument signifies that the endorser means to save himself from liability. So if, why would you be... How, why, why would you want to protect yourself if you are a party or have created an, a negotiable instrument? Hmm. So you're telling me if I write without recourse on something, I'm protecting myself on my instrument. Or if I use the term non-negotiable on something that might be converted into currency behind my back, then it's it wouldn't be able to be converted into said currency. Interesting. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. So what we're we looking for? You in the back. What was the uh, question I had? At? Oh, that's right. Look for the word you. Okay. So in Black Law's dictionary. There is no definition of the word you. There you have it. Now, some people would say, you know, um, that's not a big thing, but there's power in words as we started off this endeavor, my good friends, my good people out there in YouTubian land. The law is precise. And if it's precisely not in there, it's gray area. You have the right to challenge everything. Don't just grab ankles. 
unless you like that sort of thing. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, guys, that's about it. I want to thank you for watching The Bad Wolf. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe. You guys know what it is. See anybody using my stuff. Report those mofos. Other than that, I appreciate each and every one of you. Help out, support any kind of ways you can, and I will get back to you guys in two and two. All right, have a good day, guys. Chat later.